What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're gonna add categories to our blog with Django and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna add categories to our blog, but before we get started, if you like this video and wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. All right, check it out. Horrible scar, basically gone. It's been a little less than a week, I guess. Six days, seven days, oh, I guess a week exactly. And uh, eh, pretty good, so <laughs> no more hideous scar on the head. You remember I turned and bumped my head on a tree branch in my yard last week and had a big gash on my forehead, but it's gone now and it's all cool. So in this video, we're gonna add categories to our blog. So you've got a blog and you want to categorize your blog posts. You know, these are about sports, these are about gaming, these are about entertainment, these are about knitting, whatever you want. We wanna be able to break our posts apart into different categories. And so that's what we're gonna to start to look at in this video. And this is probably gonna take us a couple of videos. It's not hard, there's just a lot of stuff to it. So let's see. First, let's head over to our blog real quick and just make sure we're still running. Okay, that looks good. So when we, let's log in real quick here. So when we add a post, what we want is a little drop down with a list of potential categories that we can select from and then you know, that will determine uh, how these are grouped in the future. And then eventually we'll create different web pages to show all the sports posts and all the gaming posts and all the knitting posts or whatever. And uh, so that'd be fun. So let's see, first off, let's head over to our models.py file and take a look at our current model, right? We've got the title, title tag, author, body, and post date. And we might want to add a new a new thing here eventually for like a snippet or something, you know, so that when we look at the main page here, instead of this just taking the first 200 characters, it'll take the little snippet that we actually type in. Maybe we'll do that later, just take a second. But uh, now let's think about how we want to do this categories thing. First off, we want each of these blog posts to have a category field so that we could keep track of which category we've chosen. So let's just do that now, category equals, and we can really just, just kind of copy one of these. Now, since we've already had a bunch of blog posts already, we need to set a default, just so that those ones we've already created will have something. And one of mine is gonna be coding, so I'll just put coding as the default. Or you can put um, uncategorized, or something, right? Whatever you want. Uh, if you're building this for the first time and you don't have any posts yet, you don't have to do this default thing. But like I said, we've already got a bunch of posts and we need to give them a default category. So I'll just put that as coding. And you'll notice I put models.carfield, max link 255, and uh, that's good. And I just called it category. So that's good there, but we could do this a couple of ways. We could just hard code these in to our back end. You know, if we have, three categories, we just want to hard code them in. That's probably not a good idea. We actually probably want a new model so that we can add, edit, and remove these categories in the future whenever we want. So let's just go ahead and build that now. So let's go class and let's call this category. And this inherits models dot model. And I could just kind of copy this. And instead of title, let's just call this name, the name of the category, right? And we want these same things that we have in our post, you know, so that we can put it in the admin section and uh, reverse it if we want to do stuff with it. So let's just paste these in. And instead of self.title, this will be self.name. And we only have one thing, so we don't need the rest of those. And that looks good. So, okay, let's go ahead and save that. Now, Every time we create a model or change our model or do something like that, it's always a two-step process. We make a migration and then we push the migration. So let's go ahead and head over to our terminal and control C to break out. Let me just clear the screen here. And we wanna go make sure you're in your C simple blog, A blog, make sure your virtual environment's turned on. If you LS, make sure you can see the manage.py file so you know you're in the right place. 
And then we could just go Python manage.py make migrations. And okay. And it's created a model category and then added that field to the post model. And now we could just go Python manage.py migrate. Okay. And let's run our server again. Now, check it out. If we head over to our admin section, you notice the post is there, but the category is not. So we need to make a, a change to our admin.py file right here. Remember, we, we did this way back at the beginning of this thing. So now we also want to import category, the name of that model. And then here, we just need to copy this and, and do it again with category. So if we save this, now head back over here and hit reload, boom. We see this category and it puts an S on the end of it. It's kind of funny looking categories, uh, no big deal. So here we can actually add categories right from here. And just getting started, let's just do that. So the first one was coding. So I'll just type in coding here, click save. And let's add another one. Let's say sports. Let's say uh, entertainment. Whatever, so now we've got three and that's probably good enough just to get started. Now, eventually we'll create a page on our blog that we can add and edit these categories from there. But for right now, just getting started, this will work just fine. Okay, so let's head back over here. And now when we add a post, we want a thing to pop up here with a drop down that shows all of our different categories, right? So let's work on that now. So let's head over to our, let's see. Let's look at our forms.py file. Because this is our this is our form, right? Our post form, which is what we want. And we'll probably also need to mess with our edit form too if we want to change the category in the future. So let's come down to our field here. And where do we want this? Maybe right after author. Let's go category. All right? And then here, right after author, down here, let's make another one of these. And this is going to be a drop down, just like the author tag. So we just copy and paste it. And it's a select, right? So forms.select. And then instead of author, let's put category. And that looks good. Okay, so let's save this. And now if we head back over here and just hit reload, we see here a category. And we have the drop down, but there's nothing in it, right? So we need to actually put stuff in this. And we can do this a couple of different ways. Now, we could do it, we could hard code it. And I'm, I'll show you how to do that just in case that's what you want to do. Now, we're not going to want to do that, but uh, this will work. So let's just create uh, something called choices up here, a variable. And this is going to be a Python list. And inside of here, we can put our choices. Now we have three, and so we'll, we have three tuples inside of here. Put another comma just for good measure. And inside of here, we can just hard code what we want. So uh, one was coding, and now we have to put we have to put them double. That's just how select boxes work. So one is sort of the way to remember what it is, and the other one is the thing. So when you do select boxes, you usually have two things like this. So coding. The other one was what sports, I think. So sports, and then the other one was entertainment, and enter, oops, there we go, entertainment. Okay, so we've got this list. Now we could just pass this in in our category. So we can go choices equal choices, comma, and this choices right here is just this thing here. So if we call this uh, cats for categories, then it would be choices equal cats, right? But we called it choices, so we'll just leave it at that. So now if we save this and head back over here and hit reload, boom, we can see coding, sports, and entertainment are on there. So that works, like strictly speaking, that's fine. And if you want to do it like that, that's fine. But this is not great because this is not dynamic. Now, if we add another category, it won't just show up here because we've hard coded this. So we really don't want to do it this way. 
but it was important for me to show you this so that you could at least see this format because this is the format we need to use and when we put our choices in here also keep in mind here we're putting choices first before the adders if you put it after the adders you're going to get an error so it has to go first so just sort of keep that in mind so okay so if we're not going to hard code it how should we do this well let's come up here and from models import our new model so that was category oops there we go capital and then we can just create a query into that model to grab those things so we can go choices or whatever you want to call it equals category dot objects dot all and then we want to grab specific a specific list of values from there so we can call values underscore list and then just pass in what we want so we want two things we want the name and the name right so we're just going to call this twice out of the database because it's just easier this way there's probably a million ways you could do this but I was thinking about it and I thought, yeah, this will probably work. And this this name name mirrors this sports sports encoding coding and entertainment entertainment. And the reason why we're calling name is because in our models we called that name, right? So that's the only thing in this model in this category model is the name of the category. So okay, that will work, I think. Now this will pull out a whole string of things. In fact, we can look at this. Let's go to our title tag here and. Let's inside of our adders, let's create another one and call it placeholder. And that's going to be choices. So if we save this, this will just show us what's in there, what this thing is returning. It's always a good idea to see what your query is actually returning. So save this and head back over here. Now, if we hit reload, we see here's what it's returning a query set with coding, coding, sports, sports, entertainment, entertainment, which is exactly what we want. And it's a list. We could see there's a bracket around it which is again, exactly what we want. So that's really handy. So well, let's come back here and get rid of that. We don't want to keep that in there. I just wanted to show you what it's returning because I, I find that interesting and it's useful too. So now we've got an object and it's got a list, but if we want to put those things into the actual select box, the drop down thing, we need to loop through there and create a, a separate list that's not an object uh, just so it's easier. So let's create a list and I'm going to call it um, our, or let's just call it choice underscore list. And this is a list and it's, I'm going to set it to nothing, right? It's just an empty list. So now we can do a loop. So we can go for, let's say item in choices, which is this object right here that we just created with the query set, right? We want to choice underscore list dot append item. So what this will do is it will append, it will add on each of these things in our object one at a time as it loops through. And now this choice list will be an actual Python list instead of a, a weird query set object, which brings all kinds of trouble for us. Uh, but now we can just take this choice list and bring it down here to our category. And instead of doing choices here, we can do our choice list. All right, so category choices equal choice list. So go ahead and save this. And now if we head back here and hit reload, boom, this is coding sports and entertainment. And now this is dynamic. And we can tell by let's go to another page here. And let's go admin. And let's go to our categories and let's add a new one. And uh, let's say this is going to be motorcycles, <laughs> or hiking, I like hiking. So we add this category, boom, now we see there it is. Now, if we come back here and hit reload, this might not work. Yeah, we're gonna, it's always a good idea to, for some reason you need to restart your server when you do this. So let's restart our server. Now come back here and hit reload. And now we see hiking is on the list. So, okay, that's cool. So now it's dynamic. Now if we create new categories, they'll just show up, which is exactly what we wanna do. So we can now, let's create a, a page for that. So we can do it from the website. So let's head over to our views.py file and let's see our add post view. Let's just copy this real quick and create another one here. Instead of add post view, let's call this add category view. And instead of the model post, this is gonna be model category. And let's not even use a form class because it's only one field. So 
let's just designate our fields to be all. And for our template name, let's call this add category. Right? So let me copy this and let's save this. And now let's head over to our templates and create a new file. And let's go file, save as. And we want to save this as add category.html. Now we can go to our add post and just copy all of this to our, let's see, where to go add category thing. And instead of it saying add post, let's say add category. And down here, instead of post, let's say add category. And we're going to still use this form as P, so that stays the same. And create a new blog post. Let's say create a new blog category as the title. So save that. Now we need a view, or we need a URL. So let's go back to our view and grab this, the name of this, add category view. So let's copy this. And let's go over to our urls.py file. And here, like all the others, we need to import that guy. So add category view. And then down here, let's just grab our add post. And oops, let's copy this and paste it in. But instead of add post view, it's add category view. Instead of add post, it's let's say add category. And instead of it going to add post, let's send it to add category. All right, so let's save this. And then finally, let's add a link to this in our base.html. So let's head over to our base.html. There it is. And let's look down in our nav bar. And if the user is logged in, we want them to be able to add a post or let's just copy this whole thing. And that instead of sending it to add post, we want to send it to add category. And instead of it saying add post, we want it to say add category. All right, so let's save this. Now let's head back here to our main thing. And must have done an error somewhere. Add category is not defined where. Let's see, views.py. Okay, so we need to import this in our views.py. So let's run our server again. And what did I miss? Uh, did I bring it? Yeah, up here for models import, I didn't import our category model. So, okay, that should work. Because down here, we're setting our model as category. So obviously, we need to import that. I just forgot to do it. Okay, so let's head back. And now let's hit reload. And we see this add category link up at the top. If we click on it, boom, we can create a new category. Now let's call this one motorcycles. And when we click here, it returns us back to the home page. And if we add a new post, again, it doesn't show up. But if we restart the server, just kind of a quirky little thing here. And there's probably a workaround for that so that you don't have to restart the server. But I haven't looked it up yet. So now if we hit reload, boom, motorcycle shows up. And that's cool. So let's create a post. Let's call this. Uh, my hiking post and the title tag is going to be hiking and the author is me and we want this as hiking and this is my hiking post boom here we see my hiking post but it hasn't been categorized so we don't know let's head back over to our home file and if we look at the site here let's say right after the title, let's put the category. So that would be right here. So let's put another dash. And this is just post dot category. So let's save that, come back, hit reload. Boom, it says hiking and the rest say coding because by default, they were given that when we made our migration earlier. So okay, so our categories seem to be working. We've got a add category page. We haven't done an, an edit category page, but you can probably figure that out on your own. It's just like we did the other edit post page, only instead of editing post, we're editing category. Uh, so no big deal there. Actually, this video is getting a little bit long, so maybe we'll do that real quick in the next video. Okay, just that easy to add categories. Now we haven't created any URLs so that we can have like a category page that shows all of the posts from a specific category. We'll look at doing that next. Uh, but like I said, this video is getting a little bit too long, so I think we'll uh, 
we'll wait and do that next time. So that's all for this video. If you like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So it pays just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and we'll see you in the next video.